solar eclipses, blood moon, the period of planets, and even several bright comets shining in the sky. All of these things we have already seen throughout this decade. But what if I tell you that there is one particularly unique event that will happen in just 6 years, 9 months, and 13 days? What if I tell you that nothing similar has happened since the beginning of recorded history, and that it will be one of the greatest and most terrifying things you'll ever see in your life? And um, yes, you'll spend the rest of this video in my bedroom, haha. <laughs> Carry on watching this video if you want to know how to see a large asteroid flying right above your head. Will be very interesting. Hi there, Mikhailo is here. Now after this intriguing introduction, I want to show you the main character of this video. Asteroid 99942 Apophis. It's a near-Earth asteroid with a diameter of approximately 340 meters. It was discovered back in June 2004 by these amazing people when it passed 15 million kilometers away from Earth. A newly found asteroid was designated 2004 MN4 and called an Aden class asteroid, which is a group of asteroids that come quite close to our planet. Right after its discovery, it had been identified as one of the most hazardous asteroids that could impact Earth with a 2.7% probability in April 2029. The situation was that unique so that it was rated level 4 asteroid on Torino scale, a system that categorizes hazardous asteroids, with 0 being, we're fine, it's not gonna collide with Earth, and 10 being, we're certainly gonna die. Level 4 on this scale meant that the current calculations give Apophis more than 1% chance of collision, the current record for the highest Torino rating. However, with time, the calculations showed that the asteroid would not collide with Earth in 2029, but instead fly at a distance of 30,000 kilometers. There still was a very small possibility that during a future encounter in 2029, Earth's gravity would change the orbit of the asteroid and it would collide with us exactly 7 years later, on April 13, 2036. But this scenario later also became improbable, and in 2006, Apophis was downgraded to zero on the Torino scale. A recent NASA analysis showed that the asteroid is not gonna collide with our planet in the next 100 years, and it was removed from the risk list. So, if we are safe, why did I call this video the most terrifying astronomical event of the 21st century? Well, let me explain. First of all, it's gonna be the closest encounter in recorded history with an asteroid of this size. Small space objects frequently pass near Earth and even dive into its atmosphere, but Apophis is the first of its kind. Also, you all have probably seen solar eclipses, planets, maybe even comets, but not a freaking asteroid passing closer to Earth than some communication satellites. You might object. Hey, but there are more interesting events, such as Betelgeuse becoming a supernova. Yes, it will eventually happen, but at some point during the next 100,000 years, and not necessarily in this century. On the other hand, Apophis will pass near Earth precisely in this decade, so you don't have to wait for a few millennia. Secondly, you'll be able to see the asteroid with the naked eye. I'm not even joking, you'll be able to spot how this celestial object is slowly moving above your head, but we'll talk about it later. Third, the asteroid will fly near our planet on Friday the 13th. Literally, just check it out in your calendar. Isn't it spooky? Lastly, I am sure that the media in 2029 will be screaming that a potentially dangerous asteroid will come extremely close to our planet and they will create some intimidating titles for their articles. I mean, if the media will say that it's gonna be the most terrifying astronomical event, then I'll just do it earlier and get all the credits. Smart. Anyway. Now, many of you have one thing in mind, how to see the asteroid. 
So, according to Wikipedia, the most reliable source of information, the close approach will be visible from Earth, Africa and Western Asia. But viewers from other parts of the world will probably see the asteroid with the naked eye as well, just a little bit later. Download a sky map called Stellarium and find the asteroid using the finder in the left tab. Then go to a dark neighborhood in your city or just go to a rural area. Do not use any electronic devices for 10 minutes prior to observations. Your eyes need time to adapt to darkness. The closest approach of Apophis occurs on April 13th, 2029 at 9.46 p.m. Universal Time. This is the best time to see the asteroid with the naked eye. According to NASA, it will appear to travel more than the width of the full moon within a minute. On the day of approach, Apophis will be as bright as this star in the Big Dipper. However, even if you miss the day of the closest encounter, you will still be able to see the asteroid flying above your head, but it will look significantly dimmer, and you will probably have to bring with you your binoculars. The maximum apparent angular diameter will be 2 arc seconds, which means that through a telescope it will look similar to Neptune, like a gray blob. Since not a single asteroid of such diameter has flown this close to Earth, scientists have high hopes for exploring Apophis. Where am I? In addition, NASA extended the mission of the OSIRIS-REx probe that recently studied the Bennu asteroid. In 2023, the mission will change its name to Fancy OSIRIS Apex, and six years later, during the closest approach, it will rendezvous with the asteroid. Just like in the case of Bennu, it will disturb Apophis' surface in order to study it. But what would happen if an asteroid of a similar size collided with Earth? Just imagine if 24 Tsar bombs, the most powerful nuclear warheads, exploded all at the same time. Such an explosion would certainly destroy an area of thousands of square kilometers, even potentially wiping out a population of a small country like Montenegro. But it wouldn't have a global impact. The civilization would continue existing even in case the asteroid killed millions of people. So how to avoid a collision with an asteroid? Very simple, just detonate a nuclear bomb near it. The only issue is to deliver a powerful nuclear warhead into space. But humans will certainly figure this out. By the way, here is a list of asteroids that have a chance of colliding with Earth in the next 100 years. 2010 RF-12 is a 7-meter asteroid that will make a close approach in September 2095, having a 4.6 chance of colliding with Earth. I mean, it's just 7 meters in size, so we're gonna be fine. At the same time, another asteroid called 2020 CD3 will have a 1% impact probability in September 2082. But it's just one meter in diameter, so who cares? In general, our civilization is gonna be fine in this century, but there could be thousands of undiscovered asteroids flying in outer space. So maybe the doomsday asteroid hasn't been discovered yet? And it's flying directly towards us? We will see. In conclusion, you have seven years of preparation left. Take this time to do stargazing, buy a telescope, watch very interesting videos and subscribe to a very interesting channel. Maybe you're even watching this video in the year 2029. Who knows? In any case, thanks for watching very interesting videos. Bye.